So just a quick one to address some comments and questions we've been getting about timing of certain events that are happening in our feed. We are still showing a lot of snakes being relocated and captured photos and videos. The reason why some of the timing might seem off is because those occurred earlier in the year. So for snakes that maybe we caught in September or October, um, we put those into a buffer so that they show up at a certain amount. And the reason for that is so we don't flood you with it. I think if we were posting 20 or more snake videos a day, people might get a little sick of us and get rid of us. Where in the winter, we don't have as much going on, so we need some things to talk about, so we space them out. So we can kind of keep that conversation going. But there are still snakes moving in the winter. Whenever we get one in the winter, people will ask, I thought they were hibernating. I thought they were brumating. And for a side note, if you really get uptight about the difference between the word brumating and hibernating, I think you should do some research into that. We use the word hibernating just because that's what people know what it is. They know what that means and we don't have to explain it. So yes, snakes are largely inactive in the winter. They do change that. Um, so you can still see snakes in the winter months. You can see them potentially every single day of the year. The difference is when the warmer months, they're out cruising around, they're hunting, they're traveling, they're exhibiting a larger array of behaviors. During the winter, they're more or less just trying to retain any moisture that they have and manage their temperatures until um, it's more suitable to them. So in the right conditions, if it rains, if it's, you know, humidity's up or, you know, if it's just a nice day to them, then they might come out and sit on the surface of wherever they've been spending the winter. That doesn't mean that they're out cruising around. It does also mean that if we catch a rattlesnake in mid-December, that it's probably already been in that location since late October or so. So if someone sees a snake and you're wondering why it isn't hibernating, the answer is it has been, it just showed up today for whatever reason. There are also some unfortunate circumstances that will cause us to see snakes any given day of the year, even in really bad conditions. That is because they've been displaced by something. So construction, even something as minor as, you know, removing an old shed, those kinds of activities can take snakes that have been hibernating um, or have been largely inactive and put them out into the surface when they really don't want to be. So they're forced then to wander and try to find another survivable situation that they can hang out in and that sometimes puts them into people's yards. So yes, during the winter, snakes are down. They are not as active, but we are still out catching snakes mostly every day in different circumstances. It just looks a lot different. And a last note on that, um, in the winter, just like in the hot parts of the summer, um, it kind of makes me cringe or, or, you know, feel a little off sometimes when I see that people that aren't really knowledgeable about the, nat the natural history of rattlesnakes are relocating snakes in the winter. I think I saw one the other day where someone caught one and, you know, I really, really appreciate that people mean well by these animals and want them to survive and are doing their best to help. But if you take a snake, and it's getting down into the low 40s at night and you just go take it out and put it under a bush without trying to find a suitable replacement hibernacula for it, that snake is probably not gonna survive. And if you don't know how to find suitable hibernacula replacements for a snake that you're gonna relocate, you should probably do some research before you continue doing those kinds of activities. There's a reason why this is best to professionals. Um, there are a number of organizations that do that. And if anyone wants more information if you are doing that kind of thing and want to relocate snakes that you find at your house yourself please reach out to me i'd be happy to tell you everything i need to, that you need to know uh, to be able to do it effectively and keep those animals alive so if you have any more questions about this uh throw them in the comments and i'll get to them as soon as i can